Hi, this is Zomtree Greg, and today we'll be talking about SLS Nylon versus HP Multijet Fusion. Both create nylon parts using usually a nylon 12. They are both built from a powder that is then fused. SLS, the powder is fused via a laser in a heated chamber. HP Multijet Fusion, the parts are fused by actually inking the cross section of the part with an edging compound, and then a heat bar goes across to create a fusion effect. What that means is multi-depth fusion parts have this matte gray natural outer, but if you cut on the inside, you'll actually see it is jet black. Because the base material for SLS is white nylon and no additives are included in the fusion process, you have stark white through. That means that SLS, I can dye, to different colors, various things like greens, yellows, blues, reds. And both these processes though dye very well in black. So this would look equivalent in multi-jet fusion or SLS nylon. The difference when you're dyeing black is going to be if I'm cutting into the part, say I have a grip that I'm making and it's gonna get exposed and scratched. But with multi-jet fusion, I may benefit from dyeing this black and when it gets scratched, it's black underneath. Where on SLS nylon, I got my little battering here, if I cut into this and I just peel away right there, you can see that it is stark white underneath. When to choose these for production, Multijet Fusion tends to have a little bit higher throughput per day. So it actually may work on higher volumes and be more cost effective, including lead time shortened, where SLS Nylon tends to be effective on a piece part basis. So you may find on Zometry's instant pricing engine that SLS Nylon will be more competitive from the lower volumes, maybe a couple of dozen. But once you start getting up in those, uh, you know, 50 plus, 100, you may find Multijet Fusion will win out when it comes to cost, scope, and lead time. So what else would you like to learn about with our X-Tiles? This is Zometry Greg. Thank you so much.